All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I just realized that was on the radio. It's a slow motion theme song kind of thing. It's from Chariots on Fire, I think. Anyway, this is my new truck. I just had to, uh, well, I just busted something on it. Let me put it up in my stool here. By the way, this is my messy workstation. I had the wheels on this, and gas leaked everywhere and everything. These things are very messy. Um, so, what I pretty much did is, that, by the way, that's me blocking it. Alright, the pull start right here. Let me zoom in on this. This little piece right here. There it is. Alright, let me point to it. Alright, this little piece right here. The string on the inside of it broke. It just broke up, and then it took me about a day <laughs> to get the coil back in there because I forgot it was in there. And it just kind of fly out and hit me on my hand. Didn't really hurt, but it was... It, it could have cut me, but it didn't. Anyway, so I had to fix that. I had to take the whole motor out. And then the brakes are fixed, and I made them, like, really, really strong. Um... This is just a beautiful looking truck, I mean. This is a 1-8 scale. Let me show you my old truck. Alright, this is what I used to... This is, this is what I used to think was big. Alright, this is a 1-8 scale truck. Monster truck. This <laughs> is a... I think 1-16th scale. Alright, now look at the differences there. They're right next to each other. Oh, let me get the weight. My weight's out of this. See? Alright. That is huge. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how big this thing is. Let me... The... Monster truck is just as big as the Alpha. Here. Alright, this is a 40 size plane. This is about 58 inches long. And that's the truck right there. <laughs> this thing is huge. Um, it's got really good suspension on it. Here. Some nice suspension there. Got your big bore shocks with a little build like a real monster truck. I don't know if it has sway bars or not. I don't know what they look like, but to me, there's some good suspension right here. So, sorry guys if I'm sniffing a lot. I have a, just allergies. It's Ohio. Ohio sucks. <laughs> I live in Ohio and it's just horrible here. Alright. By the way, that's my F-16. I have not been able to fly it because I do not have the right charger for that battery. And the guy at the hobby shop told me that if I charge it, keep on charging it on the same charger, the battery might just expand or blow up, you know. Alright. <sighs> I've been working on this thing all day. But, but here's your... Uh, this is a SH-18 motor. Uh, this thing, I don't know what's up with this. Uh, if you look at that, that was the normal setting for the high-speed. That has about a millimeter on there. It's not fully flush with it, so, um, but anyway. And I cannot tune this thing for nothing. I am horrible at tuning any kind of radio controlled engine like my Alpha. That is a little um, 40 size plane engine. This is an 18. And I don't know why the 40, well what I think it is, is on the cars they pull about two times more than a normal plane engine does. So this is a um, what is it? It's a 40, a 46 size engine. This is an 18. The 40 size is smaller than the 18. So, if anybody knows why that's smaller, don't ask, or ask me, please. Uh, or, tell me. I can't talk to them. Sorry. It's really cold down here. It feels good. Check out my basement. <laughs> Very messy. And then my, ooh, that. Oh, by the way, guys. This is my new project for the winter. I'm creating an Oracle slow stick, or stick. Uh, check out this wing. I've never seen a wing like this before. 
I've only been in Nitro for a couple of, uh, for about a year now. I used to do a lot of electrics, so, oh by the way, you can do, it is, um, it might be resurrected soon, um, but uh, it just kind of went by the wayside, and because I'm working uh, using the electronics for my custom made uh, sapling, if you can see that, I'm going to be making my own 3D plane and hopefully fly it at dogs next year. Oh, here. oh, by the way guys, I haven't shown anybody these. Check out these pictures and stuff. I like this. That's a pretty cool little thing there. Um, my mom got me all of these for my birthday. So she, as you guys know, I like one. There's another thing. I've never heard of this movie before. But, um, it has a cover, check this out. It's, it's a nice little super cover on there, it's called One Stitch Right. The Romance of Flying. Uh, let's see here, let's see, anybody I know from this? <laughs> anyway, so, guys, uh, this is a pretty cool looking one eight scale truck, but I have to say, oh my gosh, it is a nightmare to get back together after you've taken the motor out. I hate where the motor is mounted. If you look down behind that, the let me show you right here. Take a little element to the point. This is what broke. That you see the little thing that says S H on there? This little thing broke. On the inside of it there was a little string that holds let me pull this out here. That holds that string. That's true. That's what you pull it to get it started. That broke, and that was a nightmare to get back in there. I had to take the whole motor out. I hate the design of that. And also, guys, let me show you a really good design. Uh, look at that. That's my fuel line. It's going to my carburetor. If, uh, if anybody has a red cat um, like this one, please tell me if that's actually normal for this kind of red cat. I mean, this thing runs fine. It just is out of tune really badly. Um, but tell me if that's normal or not for the land side four-wheel drive. Because I have no clue. Because I just got into the, to the uh, Nitro cars. Let me show you something. I've been working on these brakes for a while now. And it's been a nightmare. After a couple of I found out that a couple of uh, the uh, screws were stripped. All right now, your brakes are right there. Go back. So, all right now look at this. This is without. All right now we pull it back. I'll push it with the same force. I don't know it's my gear. All right. all right now this is with. That's pretty good brakes. I just. <laughs> It took me about an hour just to find out how to adjust the brakes. I had to adjust the brake pad um, and everything on this thing. So pretty much I have messed with everything on this truck. The steering had to be messed with a little bit because it had to be trimmed out. And there wasn't enough trim to trim it out. So there's your throttle. So there's right there. You break. And then right there. These are meaty servers, by the way, so, anyway, for uh, the body right there. I will see you guys later, and I'm going to actually clean up this mess. <laughs> and I am actually going to buy a new body for this. Uh, it will be a 1951 Mercury body if I can find one. And if I can't, I'm going to build one at Lexham. I'll probably find this material, or plastic, or whatever. Anyway. I'm going to make a monster butt. So, guys, I will see you guys later, and I'm going to clean up this mess, and I'll talk to you guys later.